Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung in Wiener Neustadt. I'm about 60 kilometers south of Vienna in Austria. And as you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of the Busendorfer Piano Factory. This is where they hand build the world's most beautiful, most expensive pianos. They only handcraft 300 pianos per year for distribution throughout the world. And I've actually spent the past three days recording pretty intensely with international flutist Jasmine Choi. We just finished up yesterday. So I have actually been here quite a bit, at least in the showroom area. But today I get to go into the factory and I'm really, really excited to hopefully take a peek at what goes into making a Busendorfer. Now I've been warned I'm not allowed to take photos or videos because there's a lot of very sensitive trade secrets that Busendorfer understandably has to protect to guard their reputation as being the world's greatest piano manufacturer. However, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to show you at least a few things. So with their permission, let's go take a look and explore the magic behind the Busendorfer piano right here in their factory. This tour actually starts in the city of Vienna, the birthplace of Busendorfer pianos. Vienna is filled with historic architecture that was around during the time of Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven. The Busendorfer factory is located in Wiener Neustadt, a quiet suburb about 45 minutes drive south of Vienna. They've combined a beautiful new showroom selection center with their traditional factory. Their piano building techniques include tasks that have not changed in 200 years combined with some of the most advanced computer-aided design technologies. Here in a huge area behind the factory, you can see where it all begins. Busendorfer uses carefully selected spruce in every piano they make. This wood is carefully chosen from high altitude regions in the Austrian Alps and only harvested during the winter months when the sap is dormant. The wood is left to air dry naturally for up to five years. Busendorfer is the only piano manufacturer that does not use kilns to dry any of the wood used in the production of their pianos. In addition to spruce, Busendorfer uses a variety of other woods like beech and maple. Next, before the wood is used, it spends additional months in a humidity controlled area. This slow process prepares the world's most carefully chosen tone woods for use in a Busendorfer piano without ever kiln drying. Each piece of wood is carefully labeled and cataloged in their inventory system. On the first floor, the raw wood is now ready to be cut and shaped into piano parts. One very special type of cut that is applied is called a kern, thin cuts that allow a solid piece of spruce to be shaped into the outer piano rim. This is one of the main techniques for creating Busendorfer's signature resonating rim, as opposed to thin strips of laminated hardwoods that other piano manufacturers use. Busendorfer has updated some of the woodworking that was traditionally done by hand. Today, they use special CNC routers to create some of the fine ornamental details of each cabinet, as well as some of the joint cuts necessary for strength and structural integrity. Each piece is cut with absolute precision. Here we see a sand cast iron plate that has been freshly cleaned after spending at least one full year in the Austrian weather. This assures that the slow curing iron, ideal for tone, has eliminated any internal stresses that might interfere with its given purpose to be the heart of a Busenhofer piano. Each plate goes through a five-step process which includes two different primers. It was once said that Busenhofer spends more time on their plates than many manufacturers spend on their entire pianos. This is obvious as I watch the care taken with each and every frame that will become a Busenhofer piano. Their signature bronze is beautiful, but custom colors of any kind can be chosen, even gold leaf with real gold. On the second floor, we start to see the pianos taking shape. The rim and posting is the main wooden structure that supports the famous tone of a Busendorfer piano. This is where there is no substitute for hand work. Every Busendorfer has a wooden structure that is built with traditional dowel techniques. There are no shortcuts taken anywhere in the assembly of these rims. Each piece used in the structure 
is as beautiful as the entire finished assembly. Check out this interesting shape carved into the treble side of the frame. This extra opening helps enhance the tone of the highest notes. Again, handwork assures that the height of the bridge is exactly where it should be in relation to the end of each string. The pressure of the string upon the bridge is called downbearing, and this must be calculated precisely. The craftsman will use a fine chisel to precisely shave the bridge for the perfect string termination point for each note of the piano. Remember that kern cut? In this step, thin pieces of the same quality spruce fill any spaces left in the bending of the wood. Gorgeous wooden cases finally meet their soundboards, which are custom made to fit each piano. This workmanship is simply unbelievable. Now each piano is ready to have its custom frame installed. A laser pointer and jigs are used to make each hitch pin and agraph placement completely precise. This step assures that the strings will vibrate in the exact lengths they are meant to. Bussendorfer makes their own bass strings, known worldwide for their incredibly rich sound. Bussendorfer winds their own steel strings with varying widths of copper wire. The copper adds mass to the string, which gives the beautiful bass sound that each Bussendorfer has. The care in which it's wound will determine the quality of tone as well as the life of the string. Finally, these are starting to look more like pianos. The plate has been carefully inserted and the piano begins to be strung. Notice Bussendorfer's open pin block design. This is labor intensive to work with, but it means that each tuning pin can fit closer to the pin block. This offers more stability in tuning and gives a fine piano technician more control as he tunes. Each hole has to be meticulously drilled by hand and the pins expertly inserted. Bussendorfer uses piano keys made by Klug Klaviaturin. Each key, in turn, will be connected to a complex action mounted on a frame to activate the hammers. Each piano key operates as a simple lever, rocking on a single fulcrum point. The front of each key has a small hole called a front rail bushing, which keeps the key from slipping side to side. Weights are added to ensure a perfectly even feel across the keys. Here you can see the center pins, which act as fulcrum points, and the key bed front rails with felts. Here we're in one of the final voicing rooms, where pianos are tested and their hammer felts are voiced as needed. With only 300 pianos built each year, the result is one of the most celebrated pieces of Viennese musical tradition with a pedigree that spans back to 1828 when the very first Busnifer piano was produced. I've said this before and I'll say it again, the Bussendorfer is my personal favorite piano. But now having gone through this factory tour, I'm even more in love with this instrument than ever before. From the, the woods that are seasoned naturally four to five years, longer than any other piano manufacturer, to the meticulous attention to detail, craftsmanship, and passionate creativity, what a joy to see the art of the piano preserved from the past and with such a bright future moving forward. It's no wonder that the Busendorfer is considered the greatest piano in the world. Well, I hope you found this helpful and informative. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. From Wiener Neustadt in Austria and for the Cunningham Piano Company, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.